guys, my name is Tristan Randall Knocker Films and today I'm going to be reviewing the New Ear foldable shoulder mounted camera stabilizer. Now my first impressions when I opened this thing up was, my god does this look badass. It kind of has like a spider kind of effect. It's shoulder mounted, you can tighten each area up as you wish or leave them loose. It is completely positional to your comfort usually hold it about like that and it stabilizes very well. Despite what it looks like it is extremely lightweight and due to it being lightweight it's extremely versatile for your film needs. Outside of being a regular camera stabilizer this actually has a, another use of being a really low tripod for like a kicker shot so if you want a really low shot aiming high up maybe to get like this angle of your actor Maybe give them kind of a fear factor. You can put this on the ground, have it pointed up. Something like a tripod really won't be able to do. And of course, as the name implies, it's a very good stabilizer. I'm going to be showing two camera clips in which I will be walking, probably just right out there, uh, just carrying my camera normally. And a clip of carrying it mounted on this to show the difference in stabilization. Now the uh, way this works is it can tighten and loosen by two different form factors. It's got little plastic cranks, little cogs that will tighten it or loosen it. And for going left or right, attached to the main base, it is done with Allen wrenches. I have my little socket. Socket fell out, but that's what I use for it. And to top it all off, I haven't set the price yet because it is actually fairly cheap for a camera stabilizer of really this magnitude. Roughly $40 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description for anyone interested. Now that's not to go without saying that this device does not have its shortcoming. It does. The question is if they outweigh the pros and if it's worth it at the price point. Okay, my first problem I found with this is that the little thread that goes for mounting your camera is actually just slightly too short, maybe just by about two thread lengths in all honesty. Uh, it will connect to your camera but it won't hold a very tight grip. So what I ended up doing through me the situation was just place some electrical tape here and here uh, like a double sided kind of a structure uh, your camera is not going to fall off it just keeps it from moving to the side when you're uh, getting at these low angles that influence gravity on it not necessarily a big deal would have been nice if they would have made the thread just a little longer though but I believe I can overlook that one another con is in the locking mechanism with the cogwheel it's just the fact that it's a really cheap plastic. There's no metal base in that whatsoever. And I just have a really big fear that that would break off. So I don't ever tighten these to a high tension. I'll always let it be able to move to some degree. I don't want to tighten it to the point where it can't move because of fear of the plastic breaking. Also to do with the locking mechanism, but with the uh, Allen wrench structure, they strip easily. I mean, it's, it's in the nature of an Allen wrench. It's something that's going to be tightened where it will not move, once again, it's going to strip. Uh, I do know I'm going to be replacing my Allen wrench sockets with screws, basic screws, and that will alleviate the problem. Uh, the big deal with that is there shouldn't be a problem to begin with. I believe my last con is going to be in the color scheme. Uh, personally, I would have done green and black. Now, I'm obviously joking. I think the thing itself looks badass, but I wish it would have been a different color. It's not really, I'm not counting that as a real con, but it is something to consider. Especially if you're vain like me and you just love the hell out of black and green. Now the question is, is it worth $40? Is it a great price point for the product you're getting? Uh, honestly, I believe it is. Um, most stabilizers out there are, that are worth a damn are like 120 to 200 in all honesty. And being $40 and having very small shortcomings in comparison to its price point, I believe it's uh, actually a pretty good deal. I mean, all of it is a solid metal, 
except for the the uh, cogs. And you get the rubber grips, but it's metal on the inside. Literally, the only pieces that are not metal are the cog wheels. I don't know why they cheaped out on that, but I mean it's just something you got to deal with if you purchase it. But once again, I do not consider that a deal breaker. In all absolute honesty, I believe that anyone who is wanting to do their own indie films, their own little low budget short films, I think you should invest in one of these. It's forty dollars well spent. I mean, the difference speaks for itself on stabilization. The fact that you're pretty much alleviating shaky cam and making it a lot easier on your cameraman in general, I believe forty dollars is well spent. I honestly think it should be in every short filmmaker's arsenal. And once again, I want to hit the nammer on the head that this honestly looks pretty badass. Even when folded up, it looks like a really mean piece of equipment. But yeah, I believe that covers everything. Uh, if you enjoyed this, be sure to give us a like. What are your thoughts on the newer shoulder-mounted camera stabilizer? Tell me in the comments below. Do you own a camera stabilizer? Uh, what kind? What brand? How do you like it? What's the price point? Tell me in the comments below. Really, I want to know. Even better, did you make your own camera stabilizer? If so, link it to me. I'll be happy to take a look at it. I'll even probably promote it if it's worth a damn. And if you want to see more videos similar to this one, such as reviews and DIY builds, uh, be sure to subscribe to us. And I believe Redemption should probably be up by the time I upload this. Redemption's a little uh, fight choreography practice, mainly. But yeah, since we got all the generic like, comment, subscribe stuff out of the way. Yeah. <laughs>